My name's Leanne, I'm a producer at Ghost Games and we're here at E3 for Need for Speed. So let's talk about what your goals were heading into this reboot of the franchise. Yeah, so that's really why it's called Need for Speed and not doesn't have a subtitle, um, you know, it's just Need for Speed because we want this to be a reboot. We want to make sure we're giving our fans exactly what they're asking for, so a deep customization, the storyline, five different ways to play. Uh, you know, our fans have been asking for that customization for a long time, so we're really excited about giving that now. Can you talk a little bit about that build mode and customization and how, how detailed it is based on the demo you guys have here? Yeah, so uh, customization, really deep, deepest, you know, that we've done so far. Um, we've got visual, um, which you can change, you know, paints, colors, all that kind of stuff, as well as body kits. We're working really closely with speed hunters on the aftermarket part, so it's really authentic to car culture. Um, it's also performance and handling, tuning that you can do as well. So for the first time in a Need for Speed game, there's two different types of handling. So we've got grip handling, which is the much more classic Need for Speed, and then we've got the drift handling, which is like ride or most wanted the newer uh, need for speed so you can basically tune your car to whichever type of handling you prefer the most and depending on what event you're doing in the game as well and speaking of events can you talk about some of the different types of gameplay that are built into this demo Yes, yeah, so there's five different ways to play, which um, spreads into the narrative. So we've got speed, style, build, crew, and outlaw. Um, so each one of those has different events and different ways to play the game. Um, so you've got the normal kind of time attacks and that kind of stuff in the game. But if you're all about speed, then it's all about doing the fast events. If you're about style, it's all about doing the drift events and going through the drift uh, narrative and progression. And within this actual, uh, talk about the city and how big it is. Yep, so the, the game is set in Ventura Bay. It's a about twice the size of Rivals, obviously set at night time as you've seen in the demo, and it's kind of based on a fictional Los Angeles uh, with the sky, skyline and the skyscrapers. What does that environment open up for you guys? So open world I think works really well for us because you've got both the, the progression and also the distraction gameplay. So we've got all drive again in, in this Need for Speed which we introduced in Rivals, which is the technology that allows us to do seamless single player and multiplayer, and that works really well in an open world because I could be driving around doing my own single player progression and then other people from that multiplayer world are there and we can collide and start doing events together so that's really good in an open world it gives it a lot of variety for the players. Are you showing any multiplayer here with the people? Yeah so we've got multiplayer on the show floor here so you can do eight player multiplayer so the game is one to eight players and you can do all of the events one to eight there's no restrictions on any of the events so that's also really good in the, in the open world as well. The other thing that's seamless in this game is going from live action to video game. Can you talk about a little bit about the live action element and how that drives story? Yeah, so the storyline is really important to us. As we said, we wanted to bring a really strong storyline into Need for Speed. Um, you can see in the E3 trailer that we've been doing live action that seamlessly goes into the CG car. So we're really excited about that technology. We're going to be revealing a lot more about that in the coming weeks. Um, so you'll be able to see a lot more. But the ultimate goal in this game is to become an expert across all of those five different elements and that connects the story but can you talk about how the story actually you can jump into it from any way you want? Yeah, so basically the story is those five different ways and each one has an icon and that your kind of goal is to become the ultimate icon, so kind of the master of all of those different ways to play. And each one of them has their own progression that will take you through the game and introduce you to different areas of the world. I mean, in essence, this game is taking all of the different Need for Speeds that we've seen in the past and bottling them up into one experience. Is that accurate? Yeah, I think that's accurate. So we wanted to take the best from all the Need for Speeds and really merge them in together. That's why it's called Need for Speed.